Hi, I'm Nate Savage, and welcome to this guitar lesson on how to start navigating between your major pentatonic skills. A lot of guitar players will learn one major pentatonic scale shape and then kind of get stuck in that box. If that sounds like you, this lesson is going to be great for you. What we're going to do to make this happen for you is go over this major pentatonic scale shape, this basic one, plus its root note locations. Once you have that down, we're going to go over the next major pentatonic scale shape up, the one that's right next to it. Memorize that shape and its root note locations as well. Once you're familiar with these two major pentatonic scale shapes that are right next to each other, I'm going to show you two basic ways that you can use to kind of navigate back and forth between these two scale shapes seamlessly so you can move around the fretboard with greater ease. It's important for you to apply everything to real music. So for this lesson, I have a jam track for you. This jam track is in the key of C major. So we're going to be using C major pentatonic scales, and you're going to be able to apply everything that we work on throughout this lesson to this jam track. To start off, let's learn this popular sixth string root note major pentatonic scale. And like I said, we're going to be in the key of C, so this is going to be a C major pentatonic scale. Our lowest root note is here on the eighth fret of the low E string, that C note. Play that note, and then play the tenth fret with your pinky. Hop over to the next string, seven and ten with your first and fourth fingers. Next string over, same exact thing, seven and ten with your first and fourth fingers. Seven and nine with your first and third fingers. And then go to eight and ten with your second and fourth fingers. And finally, same exact pattern on the high E string. So you have eight and ten with your second and fourth fingers. If you need to take some time to get the shape under your fingers, that's totally fine. But here it is again, all in context, all together. So once you have that down, the next step that you need to take is to memorize where the root notes for this C major pentatonic scale are. I already said that this one, the one here on the eighth fret of the low E was a C. That's our lowest root note. We have another one here on the tenth fret of the D string. And then finally, another one up here on the eighth fret of the high E string. So we have three root notes in this scale shape. And one way that can help you to memorize these root notes is as you're playing through the scale, just pause on the root notes. And that can not only lock your ear into the sound of that root note, but it can help you memorize where they are too. One more thing that you're going to want to think about with this scale shape is the chord that kind of goes with it. And in this case, it's an E-shaped C major bar chord. And you're going to want to be able to visualize that chord shape. As you go play through the scale. It's also really important to work not only on ascending through the scale, but also descending through the scale too. A lot of times people leave that out. So once you have the scale down, you know where the root notes are, and you can ascend and descend through it. The next step is to learn the next major pentatonic scale shape up, and I'll show that to you right now. The lowest root note of this particular major pentatonic scale shape is going to be here on the 10th fret of the D string. And the chord you're going to want to associate with this shape is a D chord. So try to visualize that chord over this shape as we go through it. Now, if you start here on the 10th fret of the D string as your lowest root note, you can play that note and then your pinky can play the 12th fret. So those are the two notes on your D string. And on the strings below that, on the A and E strings, you're going to have the exact same pattern. You're going to have your pinky on the 12th fret, middle finger on the 10th fret, and the same thing on the low E string. So the bottom three strings of this scale shape are all the same, which is really nice. I just started on that lowest root note because it's a good anchor point or a reference point for us. The next string up, the G string, you're going to play the 9th fret with your first finger. Pinky's going to grab the 12th fret. Next string over, B string, 10th fret with your first finger. Pinky's going to grab the 13th fret. So, so far from that lowest root note. 
take a while to get that under your fingers. And the last string, the high E string, is the 10th fret with your first finger. And then your third finger is gonna grab the 12th fret. So again, take some time to get this down. Make sure you descend through the scale. And ascend as well. Think about that D shape, visualize it. And your root notes that you're gonna to wanna to memorize. Again, we already went over this, the first one, the lowest one, on the 10th fret of the D string. And your other one is here on the 13th fret of the B string, so keep that in mind. Those are your root note locations. A lot of guitar players get stuck in just this first shape that we went over. And don't really know how to get out of it. So now I'm gonna teach you a couple of ways that you can kind of navigate between the first shape that we learned and the second shape. The first general way has to do with sliding, and I'll show you what I mean. If I play the first five notes, or the first shape we went over, and then back to the octave, when I reach that octave, I can slide up two frets, and that puts me in a perfect place to start playing that next scale position up that we went over. Here's my root note, two frets behind where my pinky ended up. And that can just start from there. Working on the second shape that we went over. So work on that transition. Just play the first five notes. And when you get to the octave, slide up two frets with your pinky to the 12th fret. And finish that shape up. There's a second way that you can use sliding in pentatonics that I'm gonna show you right now. It uses a little five note mini shape. Let me just show that to you right now. Start off on that C note on the eighth fret again with your first finger this time instead of your second finger. Play that note, then play the 10th fret with your third finger. And then I'll slide up to the 12th fret. And then you're gonna come over and play the 10th fret of the A string with your first finger and then the 12th fret of the A string with your third finger. So that's the little five note pattern. And if you'll notice, when I play that little five note pattern, it puts me in a perfect position to play the rest of the second scale shape we went over. And the cool thing about this little five note pattern is it works through all five pentatonic shapes. So you can go. And you can connect all the patterns if you like. But for now, let's just concentrate on using, using it right here, right off the lowest root note of this first scale shape that we did, just for the purposes of this lesson, right? So. Play that pattern over and over again until you get used to kind of jumping or sliding from one shape to the other. The second way to help you flow between these two pentatonic scales is gonna be through descending. And I'll show you what I mean by that. First of all, go to the second shape that we learned and just try to descend from the highest note. Try to do that over and over again. Can you do that? One thing you're gonna to wanna to be able to do is shift also that way too when you're descending. Same way you, from the 12th fret to the 10th fret with your pinky, you're just descending. So descending like that is a really important thing that a lot of guitar players can overlook. Another way you can use descending in your playing is to make a, just a big shift, a big jump. So if I play, I don't know, the first six notes of this second shape up, I can just jump right back to the sec next shape down. And use a, just a big shift that way, descending. To help you get these scales and navigation ideas down, I have a jam track for you. It's in the key of C, so it's gonna be perfect for all the stuff we've been working on so far. What you're gonna wanna do is just work on getting these scale shapes down first and memorizing where the root notes are. 
Once you got that down, you can work on the navigation ideas, the sliding and the descending stuff that we talked about in this lesson. Here's what it might sound like. Thanks for watching this lesson. If you'd like to see more videos like that, just let me know. Either like the video or leave a comment below. I just launched a new guitar lesson series that you can get right now for free. Just go to guitarsystem.com slash free dash series and I'll see you there.